What's up, guys? Uh, Raven Sturt, back again. GM Raven, aka the Birdmaster. I got my pre-workout here. Was not able to go to the supermarket. It's been a really hectic 24 hours. Um, but alas, I'm back. We're getting into it. We're up to 26.30. Um, I will try to play a full hour. Hopefully, everything allows that. All right, let's get going. Okay, we got the, the Sicilian. Let me get the microphone a little out of the way. Nice, this is perfect. This is perfect. I got a good a good view of the board. Oh. Just <laughs> I just messed up. I'm supposed to play E4 against the the uh the Fianchetto Sicilian. Alright, let's just do this. Um this is slightly worse. But I'm taken. I'm taken and everything should be okay. This check is a bit complicated. If he plays bishop d7, I think I can take. Things get really spicy. If he plays knight c6, I could play knight d4. I could also even try b4. Knight d4 makes more sense, though. Okay. Yeah, for the moment, for the moment, everything is, um, everything is holding together. If he takes, then I take on c6. Everything looks okay here. I mean, obviously, he's going to have to play e5 at some point. He's going to have to open the uh, open the floodgates. Put the bishop on b2. Defend the rook. Now I can always play a3 if I need to. Um, already things are getting very tricky. a3 leads to knight c5. a3, knight c5. I think I have something there, though. If he plays knight c5, I play knight c6. This is a really cool trick. I'm hitting his queen, and the idea is if I, he takes, I throw in a check, and I'm up a pawn. Everything looks good. I'm gonna, I'll take as many pawns as he gives me. Light scores are super vulnerable here at the moment, but if I could just get a knight over to d4, this should be winning. This looks like a solid start for uh, for the the channel. The knight on d2. I need to get the knight around. Is he going to play d4? He really has to play d4 here. Put the queen on f6. He's going to take on e3. He's getting one pawn back. After knight f3. Everything is coming together. Play queen d4. Takes, takes. All right. Um, he's going to win this pawn here. Or is he? No, rookie one. Look at that. I'm attacking this bishop. I'm attacking the bishop. I really wish I could keep my knight here. I really wish I could keep the knight there. All right, let me just try to trade. I'll just play rook d1. I gotta hurry up. I gotta start blitzing out some of these moves. Even if he gets this pawn back, he's gonna have structural problems. Everything is looking good. If he plays bishop d7, I'll play rook e7. Um, all right, let's put the rook on e7 here. I need to advance. This could get a little tense. I don't think my king is getting mated here. 
I'll have to be a little bit careful, but I don't think Nate is happening with the rook on c7. I should really cover this check. If he plays rook a2, I play rook c2. Oh no, then he has bishop d7. I have to play knight f3. Oh, this is crazy. This is going to get bonkers. <laughs> this is going to get absolutely bananas. I think I'm losing. He has to play king f. Oh, he does that? Well, then I can advance. I can advance, people. I gotta turn my light on, it's getting dark in here. All right, lights are in the house. Perfect, I got five points. Definitely not the cleanest of games. If he played king f5 earlier, I would have, I would have gotten thrashed, frankly. It would not have been a good game. All right, we got a time and off. Takes, takes, knight c6. Uh, queen c7, queen c7 of course, queen d3. <laughs> I'm just going to have to look at all this stuff. I don't remember it. He plays queen g3 now, or he takes first. I remember, queen g3 is a super annoying move here. Okay, I'll just take this way. Hopefully nothing, hopefully nothing bad happens. Play b4, kick the knight back. Bishop b7, knight d4, I have queen e4. All right, let's put the knight on f6. e5, I have knight d5. This looks like it's okay. That's his idea? This looks completely fine. I'll play king e7. Um, I'll bring the rook to c8. Play d6. Eventually this pawn could become a little weak. I do need to be careful about that. Rook d4 could be very annoying. Okay. Rook d5 is a threat. Bishop c4, I like that move a lot. This pawn was also weak. Yeah, I gotta just, I gotta make sure to, to stay focused. I would love to take a sip of this pre-workout, but um, duty calls. Duty calls as always. <laughs> it's very hard to take a sip when my opponent is just blitzing these moves out. Let's stop at four. Um, yeah, for those of you wondering, uh, I do not recommend drinking pre-workout <laughs> for chess.com. It's just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the gym right after this, so it makes a lot of sense. Play h5, just continue improving my position. 
He's doing that. I don't know what his knight is doing there, though. Let's play rook c5. Attack this knight. He plays knight b3. I can play rook b5. He's going there. That's really interesting. Rook d5. I'm keeping this knight shackled. Now knight e5. Hitting this, hitting this. He has major problems here. Yeah, the knight is completely dominated at the moment. Can I play knight d3? Knight d3 looks really strong. Look at that, knight d3, I'm gonna play knight c5 next. Knight c5 is a really cool move. Knight c5, I hit this, this, and I'm threatening mate. Yeah, he's in a ton of trouble. He's in double trouble. Okay, let me just take there. Let's just be happy and take. How can I win this knight? Maybe the truth is I can't win the knight. Because he's going to play c4. Oh, what is the move here? All right, rook c7. If he plays c4, I play rook e5. I'm going to trade the rooks. And the idea is his knight's going to come to a5, where it's just completely useless. I might even be able to trap the knight. Actually, believe it or not. All right. Yeah, he's completely stuck here. I only got 30 seconds, though. I got to hurry up. Got to play very quickly. Got to run like the wind. Um, all right, here. H4. This is looking really terrible for him. I guess he's going to throw in a spite check, but I just move over. Let's just check and pick the knight up. Nice. Nice. 26.43. Are you all seeing this? It's coming back. FTV Claude, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked. It's time to go! Everything's back to normal. He doesn't like the bird. He doesn't want to play the bird master. All right, we got FM Wittick. I've played against him several times. I was uh, I was supposed to study this yesterday, but uh, I opened up the chapter and then other business got got in front of me and I just forgot. So hopefully, uh, hopefully tonight I'm a bit more punctual in my studies. All right, here this this looks fantastic. If he plays c5, I just play d5. How am I going to keep this going though? If he plays knight b5, I play knight a6. If he plays knight d5, I just trade. I have a lot of ideas here. F4, Queen G6, um, also G4, H5. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what G4 and H5 goes for, but it looks it looks very interesting. I want to bring a knight to F7. So yeah, to that end, I'm playing this. He needs to play C5, yeah. I would have wanted to play d5, but the problem is that um, if I play d5, he takes with a knight. That This should be a bad move. If my knight comes to e5 this soon, there are going to be problems. Um, all right. Knight g4 looks very good. Knight f3 also looks very, very strong. play this. Hopefully this works out. This position is super wild. If he takes, maybe I can even take with the queen. I'm 
taken. 95, knight of three is a big threat. He's doing that. Let's play g4. Knight of three still, still on the itinerary. He needs to play knight b5 to try to trade the knight off. And, yeah, the main idea is bishop takes. If he takes... Oh, queen g6, I do not want to give this pawn up. Yeah, this position looks so dangerous for him. If he plays knight b5, I take. I'm threatening knight f3. f4? No, that, that has to be a... Uh... That has to be him panicking. But okay, how do I how do I punish it though? I'm gonna take on e three. It looks like he's breaking through. He's going to take on c7. Things things are getting really, really dicey. But knight f3, knight f3 is going to be very annoying. How is he going to deal with knight f3? Got the neighborhood dogs barking. Uh, let me check. Queen h2. He could take, take. I guess I'll just pre-move that. I think this is just going to go down to the wire. I'm just going to try to flag him. Just watching that time tick. Relishing every second that passes. Queen e5, attacking the rook. Takes is a big threat. Threatening this, queen c3, that's a good move. I didn't, how long has my rook been hanging? I didn't even know my rook, I didn't notice my rook was hanging. It's been hanging for 20 moves. All right, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna flag him. Um, if not for the flag, this would have been a really tough position. Should I try to flag him with five seconds? Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. All right, I just gotta... Nice. Definitely not a clean game. I will take, oh, he's 27.50, nice. We're just continuing to go up. The come up is real. This tastes awful. First order of business tomorrow morning is buying coffee. I can't keep drinking this. All right, we got jump man. Jumpman 1998, fan of some NBA player. Okay, we play d3 here. Queen d2, all right, e4, the classic Raven variation. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I think it's queen f2. I remember queen f2 being a very strong move in some of these positions. B5, 
The idea is if they ever play d4, you play knight e2, and um, this is just extremely healthy. He's going to have to take sooner or later. And if he plays knight c6, I'll play uh, bishop c4. This could be interesting. Takes, takes, queen takes, knight d4. I'll just put my queen on d3. Uh, I do not want to allow knight g4 to come and bother it. I can castle. e5 is going to be very annoying. Yeah, this seems like a classic uh, raven variation edge here. He's really eating his time. His time is just whittling away. I need to play a4 at some point to secure my bishop. I want to play bishop e3, but I'm worried about knight g4. Alright. What is the plan here? I think my queen... Am I losing something here? Yeah, I might be losing a little bit of material. Whatever, I'll play rook d1. I don't see anything with the... Uh, with the discoveries. If he plays knight f5, I can always play queen e2. Nothing has really happened yet. This is a wild position. I take this way. If he takes, I take with the queen. He blundered. Would you look at that? He blundered. Right, let's get the bishop out of the way. Now everything is protected. Yeah, if he doesn't if he doesn't do something very quickly, he's going to be much worse without that pawn there. Jumpman nineteen ninety eight is in is in some serious trouble. All right, let me just drop the bishop back. This pawn is still hanging here. I would love to swing the queen over. It's like he it's like he read my mind. Um, I'll play h3. Knight f5 seems very dicey. Just pushing him away. Yeah, this just looks completely lost for him. I'm just going to keep keep snacking on the pawns. Nice. Okay, he was 2460. Perfect. That's a 2658. This is amazing. I might hit 2,700 by the end of today. 24 minutes? Okay. Gotta keep playing quickly. Never rest on your laurels. What is the plan here? I think it's bishop b4. Then 95. Queen e1. Okay, so b5 is not good here. Um, believe we just dropped the bishop back. <laughs> I really don't know. I gotta review all of this. That's what this uh, this quest is all about. This quest is the <laughs> I gotta review this hour. Man is playing for f4. We gotta hit him with b5. Knight c4. Dogs are really going crazy with the barking. Um, all right, it doesn't look ideal, but I think I have to do this. I'm gonna play knight f5. All right, I'm gonna play d6 now, stopping any knight f5 business. All right, I'm locked in. I'm all in on chess. Bishop f6. If man plays b3, I think I'm gonna just take. And takes, takes, and I have a lot of play here with this rook. Which way should I take in this case? Queen e8 might be an issue. Let me take with the queen. 
You know, as ugly as my pawns are, my pawns look super ugly, but at the same time, I'm the first one to get an attack on his king. My knight is fantastic. My knight is really superb here. Um, yeah, if he wants, he can take. Things are going to get really spicy if he takes. Because when, when I take back here, he's never going to be able to develop then. That's a price most aren't willing to pay. Let's start by playing rook, uh, rookie eight, rookie four. Very annoying stuff. Queen b7 is also a very scary move. Yeah, this position is on the verge of a uh, disaster for him. So queen b7. Yeah, queen b7, he has to play bishop a3. How can I just... Dis I just need to distract some of these things. Where is the distraction? Where is the key distraction here? Okay, I'll start with bishop f5. He's just so tied down here. Bishop c2 is becoming a big threat. I'm also threatening bishop d4 and bishop c2. This is exactly the compensation I was going for here. His bishop is just completely locked out of the game. And because of that, this rook cannot connect. <sighs> 50 seconds. 50 seconds, what could happen? panicking um, he's doing that drill the bishop in there's gonna be some type of checkmate here there just has to be uh, okay so if I take he takes with the Queen I can't play Queen b1 yet where is the win here Where is the win in this position? Okay, let me just start harvesting some pawns. I'm going to take here. He could throw on queen e6. That doesn't do anything. Queen e6 does nothing at the moment. He'll take. I'll drop my queen back, protecting this and also threatening um, something serious over there. Bishop's going to have to move sooner or later. Knight c6. Uh, okay, nice. We got a cool checkmate here. Check, check. Nice. Perfect. That was a good game. Plus eight. 2666. Nice. I'm getting up there. Birdmaster is getting closer to 3000. All right. Yeah, I'm locked in. I'm, f I'm feeling completely locked in. I'm feeling the uh, I'm feeling the power of the bird in the palm of my hand. I play g5. Okay, here queen h4 is a threat. I have to play h4. I could have also played g5. Uh, here, I guess the idea is takes, then bishop e7. Yeah, that's tricky. I'll just play g5. This position is very uncomfortable. I, I go over a lot of these positions in my course, and um, yeah, and pretty much all of them, uh, black has an enormous amount of difficulties. Okay, here I should stop knight f5. Let's play e4. Gonna put my knight on d2 and castle queenside. Bishop coming to h3 would also be good. I could have also tried knight c3. This is about to be so strange. <laughs> I really want to crunch on the, the pawns. I want to crunch like Captain Crunch, but I don't know how. Let me play e5. Mm. 
This is so strange. <laughs> I know I've said that like five times at this point. This position is so weird. I feel like it has to be much better for me though. His knights are good, but that's that's just about it. There's nothing else that's good about this position. I'm gonna play d4, bishop d3. I probably will chop here sooner or later. Um, and uh, well, yeah, the idea is that eventually he's going to um, eventually he's gonna have to, to chop this one way or another, and then he's gonna be clearing some nice squares for my knight. All right, that's that's interesting. Takes which way should I take? I I like oh this this is super spicy. I think this is better because the bishop might have been useful. His a lot of his pieces would would have used the square. Play the rook here. I can always defend now. Sooner or later, I need to chop this knight off. My bishop obviously neither of the bishops has anything to do in such a closed position. Um, all right, let me play the, the rook to, uh, to g2. If he plays knight g4, like the little, he goes there, I'll take. Can I play e6? e6 is super spicy. I'm realizing now, knight a5 just traps the queen. He's never gonna be able to play a5 now. If he ever takes, I just take back with the pawn. Yeah, he is in a lot of trouble here. What a, what a wacky position. And yeah, his bishop can never... This, this is so crazy. His bishop can never use these squares to get over to this diagonal. I'll start by playing a3. Now there's no sacrifice that I have to worry about on b4. Um, I'll play rook c2. I'm going to just play for the c4 break. He literally cannot do anything here. I think... Oh, this is insane. I'm, I think I should sacrifice here eventually. I need to figure out the, the right way to sacrifice in this position. All right, I'm going to do this. This is you, you guys are going to understand. I'm hoping he takes. When he takes, then my knight is going to come around and trap his queen. <laughs> this is the most insane position. This is the most insane position. All right, uh, I'll take this way. And now I play knight b3 and his queen is trapped. The question though, the, the big question is, am I winning here? All right, if he had been able, if his queen had taken here, if back in this position, how many points did I get for that? 26, nice, we got seven points. Uh, back in this position, if he had just taken here, that would be a really interesting question. Do I have a win here? Because rookie eight, Rook a2, um, something like a5. I assume if I play a4 here, I'm probably winning, but like, let's say that this happens and the pawns get locked. Do I actually have a win here? I mean, I must have some type of break here, but this, this is super spicy. Really interesting position. Could go easily either way. Um, either way meaning like either a draw or a win, not, not, not a loss, of course. All right, we got him again. Very interesting bird game. C7. I'm really loving the Timonov, honestly. The Timonov is a really spicy system. Okay, let's play knight f6. Bishop b4, they play knight a4, and then we drop the bishop back. Alright. This theory I remember. I remember this theory quite well. We take this way, they play bishop d4, and then we play c5. This is all uh, described in Pavlidis' uh, Time Enough book. I'm going to play d6 soon enough. <laughs> you hear the strangest sounds coming out of Brazil. Sound, it, I, don't, I don't even know what that was. It sounds like some birds are getting into a fight or something. Let the, let the birds fight. Um, 
All right, here, put the queen on c6, attack this pawn. I want to get a little bit of a weakness out of him, right? I'm trying to get him to play f3, and then d5 is going to be even stronger. He goes there. I should be able to play knight d5 here, though. Knight e4 also looks good. Both of these look good. Okay, I'll play knight e4. I really don't know. Either of these could work. Got to just play quickly. Bishop f3 is going to be a big threat. I should take first. <laughs> These birds got to simmer down. He plays rook d8. I play rook b8. I thought this was a draw. Oh, why didn't I play rook b7? Rook b7 would have been better. Yeah, this is this is getting pretty risky. This is certainly some risky business. I should be focused on salvaging a draw here. Queen e5. Do queen e5 just ends the game? Is he going to see queen e5? Oh. Queen e5. All right, good game, sir. You got the win. Fantastic It's time to go! Match of the day. Why you, no, don't it's interrupt. time to go! Don't interrupt me. It's, it's time, time to, to me. go! Don't interrupt Look, you it's can't even speak. It's time to go! You can't even speak. It's, it's time to go! What are you... That's painful. I'll take a rematch. I'll always take another bird game. That, uh, the, yeah, that loss is painful. He's doing that. He really does. He didn't. He really didn't enjoy that last uh, encounter with the diagonal there. Literally, everyone plays this. This is like the fourth time I've gotten this in the past few days. It's really bad. They're just down a pawn for nothing. And then, yeah, the last games I had, they play rook c8, I play bishop b5, they play bishop d7, and then knight e5. This is so uncomfortable. A really cool line is rook c7 takes, takes takes. Oh, that doesn't work. I thought that worked, but it doesn't. All right, I'll take here. I got the same exact position a few days ago. Nothing could be the matter here. Absolutely nothing to complain about in this situation. Put my bishop on c3. Uh, yeah, I'll just put my bishop on c3 just like last time and play on the king's side and Go for checkmate. All right, that's that is a better move. Um, I'm gonna start things off over here. He cannot use this for his rook. That is a very good move, though, in just trying to anticipate my bishop from coming out. This is planning. Okay, here we'll play. Uh... To play h6 or what? Hmm. Play queen f4. How do I get these pieces out? I'm just going to play e4 here. This, yeah, this is looking quite wild, honestly. If he plays rook c2, I can play rook f2 and start trading things. Um, h6 looks interesting, but there's really no point in it just yet. All right, here we'll go bishop e3. I do need to get my pieces out sooner or later. Rook c2, I always 
Right, that's where he's going. But here I play rook f3. His queen is tied down now. Um, I have a really simple plan. I'm going to play rook f1, rook f2, and then rook h3. Yeah, this position is quite messy. This is tense. G5. Positionally speaking, this is supposed to be really, really bad for him. But, um, yeah, if I have no way to punish it, then who am I to say so? Rook f6 could be very strong here. Yeah, I like rook f6 a lot. My pieces are starting to break through. This is starting to get very uncomfortable for him. Um, get the king out of the way. Yeah, I don't... I couldn't honestly tell you what's going on. His queen is just completely dominated at the moment. I'm going to play d5 and d6. going that way. Play queen a4, attack this. Try to break through here even. It looks like time is the critical factor here. This queen is just completely locked in. He's going to play g3 probably. Uh, I'll just keep my king out. No checks just yet. Alright. He wants a rematch? Um, should I take the rematch? Yeah, it seemed like he knew the theory of... Uh, the time enough, so I probably should. I'm probably better. Um, it's probably better for me to just avoid him. Damn, this hour flew by. It's already 45 minutes. That's really hard to believe. Time flies when you're having fun playing the bird. What do I do here? <laughs> what do I do here? I think I play d4. I think we can go for a stone wall. Play knight d2 and e4. Knight c3 and e4 could also make sense. That's quite rare in the uh, in the stone wall, but here, here there would be an argument for it. Yeah, his knight really should have been placed on c6 here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw my pawns forward. <laughs> I have no idea whether this works or not, but I think if I throw my pawns forward, that's at least going to make him... It's going to make him quake in his boots. He's going to start to get a little afraid. He's going to get weak in the uh, weak in the knees. Play g5 here. I'm going to swap my knight over to f1. So yeah, it's critical now if he takes, I have to take with the c-pawn. I cannot let this pawn get loose. Uh, but at the same time, I have relatively simple play on the c-file. Knight b3, I'm going to play rook c2. Can he sacrifice? I don't think the sacrifice would be good. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in the sacrifice. Okay, he's going for the sacrifice. Huh, imagine that. Play queen d1. Attacking this. If he plays rook c8, I play knight c5. I'm breaking. 
I'm breaking down the uh, the last defenses. Knight, yeah, knight wants to come to g3 and e4. I'm best advised not to allow that, but maybe it's just going to take too long. Let me play queen e1, though. I like queen e1. I'm playing then for this. Um, if he plays rook c2, he's really asking for it. If he plays rook c2, I'm trapping his, his rook with bishop c3. All right, let's play bishop b4. Trade the bishops in, get into c5 at long last. He has a lot of compensation here. Yeah, this guy has a ton of compensation. This is a very, very, very interesting position. Um, I don't see mate, so I need to just start opening the position extremely quickly. If he plays rook c2, it's going to take him a while to start actually threatening checkmate. He'd need to put a knight here and then play knight d2 and knight f3. Despite appearances, this knight is not that aggressively placed for checkmate. And that's what matters. Yeah, this is, uh... this is a really tense position, but I mean, all of these games are just showing me that ma maintaining a time advantage is so crucial. Okay, here I'm going to take. He goes there. I don't think he has mate, though. I'm play queen a4. I'm just going to play queen a4 and take. Yeah, rook g2. He does have a lot of tricks at rook g2. But luckily, I'm, I can just sacrifice the queen. And then take here. Nice. I'm beating Dirty Kebab. Is that the Catalan flag? That's interesting. <laughs> Bro's an FM from Catalonia. All right, he's going to play 92. 92. Does he have any draw there? I don't, I don't think so. King h2. Okay, so king f1, knight g3. King f1, knight g3, king e1, rook e2, king d1, rook d2, king c1, knight e2, king b1, rook d1. Yeah, I'm luckily I'm getting out. <laughs> I have to walk all around the board. All right. Nice. 2677. Perfect. Let's play one last game and then call it a day. I do have to get to the gym at the end of the day. American Warrior. That's Rocky Balboa. I'm playing Rocky, people. Yeah, this was a very good day. I got what? Like, assuming, I mean, let me try to finish. Let me try to finish strong. Let me not worry about offering conclusions. Let's just, uh, let's stay put, people. Let's stay focused. Queen b3. What is the move here? Let's start by playing king h8. I think the big thing is, is just not to panic against queen b3. I'll have to double check this. Knight e4, bishop takes e7. Knight e4, bishop takes e7, rook f7, there, da da da. That's tricky. I don't think this is necessarily bad. If he takes rook f7, bishop h4, I play h6. It looks like I'm trapping his, uh, his bishop. Meanwhile, if he takes on e7 that way, I just take and I'm winning the knight. Yeah, he's, I think he's going to have massive problems here. It turns out that almost none of his pieces are well placed in this position. Okay, 
can see three. Um, all right, what is the idea here? Now, let me just play g5. Just be happy. I'm. He's going to get a few pawns back. If he takes with the bishop, I take with the pawn. I'm, so what have I gotten? I've gotten a piece for two pawns, but most importantly, I've gotten this pawn here. So now my pieces, my pieces are really going to flourish. This this position just looks like a complete disaster for him. I could play queen e5 next, attacking this bishop, threatening this pawn. I think he has to play bishop f4. Play queen g7. Should I take first? I like taking first. Queen g7. Bishop h3 is an enormous threat. If he takes on d4, I can still play bishop h3. All right, and here, here I can take this pawn. Oh, he can take here. That was that was silly of me. Yeah, things things are about to get really tricky. That was uh, so unnecessary. This is super spicy. How do I get my pieces out? Let me just play bishop d7. I just gotta get everything out. Um, okay, well that's that's fantastic news. I hit him with the pin. Can I play queen d4 here? No, queen d4 he mates. My oh my. Queen h7 though. I get out of the way, I'm threatening a queen trade. My bishop covers this essential diagonal. And yeah, just due to it takes takes this would be mate, but is he's pinned. <laughs> That's in, this is an insane position. All right, here I mean the first rule of chess is that you do not allow your opponent to do what he wants. So he wanted to play e4, and I'm stopping that. No e4, sir. Not today. Can I take with the queen? I take with the queen. He plays rook h5, and I block. Yeah, that still works. That's so funny. He still can't mate. Oh no, he can. No, he if he just takes the queen. If he just takes the queen, I'm losing. He takes the queen and it's checkmate. Is he gonna see it though? I don't wanna end on this. Don't and don't end on the queen. I don't think he sees it. Oh no, he saw it. He saw it. All right, I'll play bishop g7. I've got to just hold on for dear life here. Take her away, Ian. Yeah, take it away, Ernie! It's going to be a bumpy ride! I got him. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. That was such a that was such a swindle. But um yeah, I just I completely missed the the obvious queen takes queen. Queen takes queen and uh, yeah, just due to a miracle, I am not pinning him and this would be mate. This is wild stuff. So what am I? 2685. Amazing. All right, 2685 here. What can I say? This was fantastic. This uh, was a fantastic stretch. I think I only lost one game. We gained 55 points. We're getting up there. One of these days, we'll be one of the champions. Um, thanks for watching. I will be back tomorrow. Um, 
Also, I got great news. If you haven't already gotten my course on positional intuition, it is on sale now. So if you want to support the channel, that would be a perfect way to support the channel. Um, otherwise, just thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow, sometime in the late evening, I'll post another video. See you then.